Well, like I was telling him, and uh, Franco Colombo is fucking dead as fuck. So uh, that means Lou Ferrigno's up for the role, and that's just the way it's going to be. I really despise that you turned on that light and that happened in my eyes. That was rather angering. Anyways, um, don't turn it on again. Uh, anyways, uh, if I can remember now what I was going to say, uh, just Lou Ferrigno, don't fail me. Don't take a bunch more anabolic steroids. Use some hops. Uh, use Suma. Use uh, Guayusa, I guess if it's fresh. I added an energy drink. Use Winter Holly. Use, um... Or what was that? I guess Guayusa is the South American version of Winter Holly. Yeah. What's that in the energy drink that I had in Guru? Uh, ginseng? Ginseng. Fresh ginseng liquid, you know. Uh, the, and uh, just power on through with uh, coca needs, leaves and yeah, stuff and, and weed even. If he needs to cleanse out some toxic hormones, you know, from different parts of his body like I've had to, uh, kava, kava, they're real strong made stuff. Like I got some at the street market when I was hanging out with some friends, you know. The, the super kava that destroyed me I was talking about before, yeah, that, that'll clean out your hormones. Okay, so, um, Lou Ferrigno is going to replace Franco Colombo because he wasted away and it obviously is from sugar. Uh, Lou Ferrigno ate less, obviously, what, once a year on his birthday? Shouldn't do that, Lou. Anyways. So, because of that, everybody does these stupid back lifts and rests it on their back, and they lift with, like, their arms too much. Yeah. And so, you know, I said that that would be the role. I already described it. And uh, I know he, he got worse death because he either got too much flow trapped off from his brain than he was even if he was born death as a kid. And Arnold fucked up his jaw and started talking retarded, too, because they snapped themselves. So, it's very likely he could kill himself in old age this way, which is why it's good to show him that he shouldn't do those type of exercises, basically, at all. Because he's just yeah. too stupid, too. Everyone is. It's not offensive. Because um, it's like it snaps like a video I saw online all the way back. Yeah, it breaks, snaps, yeah. It breaks back. And then your heart's fucked. Yeah, so it's like his heart, you know, like you have a shot of it, like, you know, like in his chest and CG all crimson cranberry. And yeah. Like, and like stop, you know. Yeah. As he like falls, you know, with like a flat line, like even sound effect like happening. Mm -hmm. like, as he hits the ground, you know, in the gym. And then, you know, because I'm describing the scene of how he becomes Black Lightning. Because I don't always compete with DC because they just appear to be pure evil. So he so he's black lighting and competes in a competition with Shazam's whatever the fuck he is. Let's see, there's Shazam and then there's the Dwayne Johnson thing, whatever that is. Yeah, so anyways Are those both D C? Yeah. Oh, I thought the Dwayne Johnson thing was Marvel? Oh, never mind. No, because he's another Shazam guy. Okay. Oh, good to know. That's why the same light. Yeah, is you're right. Sort of, you so it's boring, out. anyways. Yeah, yeah, it's silly. Um, so the point is that it's like a voice calls out to him from outside the, you know, the, the gym doors as he's lying there, like his heart's not moving, but you know he has so much electrical charge in his body that it's like you know you want to live, like come to the blackness, come to come outside, you know. So he's crawling without his heart working, like, you know, hand over hand, dragging himself across the, the gym, pushing with his legs mostly because his arms are broken, you know, with, like, blood out of the corner of his mouth. And he gets out and pushes, like, because the door's already held open, just it's slightly wider open and falls out into the, the night. And it's like the stars are above and they're full of black light. Yeah. It's like, you know, UV black light that's disinfecting. And it, uh, you know, he, the, the stars, like, in between the stars tell him, you know, he, he can have strength again as long as he's willing to burn, you know, dark and hot and not have, what's it called anymore, um, desires anymore, like, it's, it's this concept, it's a philosophy, like, you don't desire to be bigger anymore, you don't desire anything you just desire only strength, and that's it. Yeah. Well, we're trying to achieve um, 
this feeling with the project, like, um... Just that, um... <laughs> trying to figure out what I'm trying to say. Uh, whatever, I'll get back to you. So anyways, the point would be that, um... When he, like, accepts the light in, it's like as if it pushes past the stars, as if the stars grow dimmer, each one, like, fading out. As it's like as if the blackness of the sky fades down on him from his front face view, and that'd be the camera view. As he's, like, lying there all broken on the ground, you know, on, like, the sidewalk outside of the, the gym. And then, um, you have a side shot so that people are, like, spooked because it's horrifying. Because, like, you, like, then, you know, like the blackness with like the very tinges of purple and red like almost flames like it's an aurora coming down from a side view yeah from a, like slightly above and out like toward the as though the face. blackness the heat blackness of outer space which it does exist comes down through the atmosphere to him yeah so then it's like it you know slowly like sort of pours into it like the parking lot grows dim all the lights as it's sort of like a fog falling yeah on, as it's almost like as if it's raining you know just light into him and then you have like because it's you know marvel movies you know they like zoom into people's bodies well it's like it zooms into his muscle tissues and, it, and his heart and stuff and it shows everything start to model like it's all dark and blackened because he's starting to be you know go cold and die and then there starts to be this red modeling, like as if it's red marbling, sort of like marble, you know, striations, but it like changes all over the place as everything starts to heat up as if it's like, you know, like, you know how like you leave a, a piece of something yeah. like, in a fire and it's Yeah, like, his blood is misting on. into his, his inside of himself. Yeah. yeah, like he no longer is alive, like he is like just... You know, the energy of his own blood. Yeah, ruby blood, yeah. Yeah, you know, and blackness of, you know, the dark light. So, because I really want dark light effects from my QLED screen. Once oh, I yeah. get a movie from my QLED screen. Also, I'd like to be paid so I can have more QLED screens. Um, anyways, uh, the... You know how when you leave a piece of paper in a fire, a furnace... And it will glow for an infinite amount of time if you have the right scenario, yeah. bizarrely, or a piece of wood. And if it's emit with the right conditions, it just keeps on glowing. Even forever. though it's a husk? Even though it's a husk, even though there's nothing left, even though if you slammed a poker through it, it explode into dust instantly yeah. and no longer be burning. It's like that effect with his body, like he's given a second chance to fix what is wrong. And so then that burning, you know, like, excites everywhere, and it's like he lights up to the point in the parking lot as the, the you know, it burns back away the darkness as it recedes, you know, back into the stars slowly. As he starts, you know, his veins first heat up all red, you know, around his, the darkness of his body. And then he all turns into, like, the equivalency of that, you know, log in a fire analogy, but it's like his body's glowing bright, bright red, you know, everywhere. And it's like there's coruscating veins everywhere in his body. You can see through it that are, you know, different color, hue, because the temperatures are different still, because of course they would be. And, like, they kind of resemble lightning, like, on the jacket. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, when he was saying he was going to be in the MCU. Yeah, like, he's branded with the energy under his skin, you know, showing. Yeah. Yeah. There, is that an intense enough drama character for everybody? Yeah. Of course, because Lou Ferrigno's old, it's supposed to be, it's like as if you CG him up like he's a young man completely, and then it's like he's, he turns into the older Lou Ferrigno. You know, that's the, the concept of this. He ages that much yeah. as he's brought back from death. And so then the movie is about, like I already repeat, because it's in the MCU, it's, with, it's in association with Nick Cage, sort of hell-like in a certain way and things. Um... He has to go around and kill off bodybuilders that are secretly charged with demons. And it's not like some nerdy TV show or something. It's like they're pure evil. They're like coursing with dark energy and they're not like the ones you see. They're like not... No, big, you have like to understand, yeah, that uh, he starts, yeah, with supposedly bodybuilders who are failing and aren't quite big enough and are full of demons. And then he works up to the huge fake bodybuilders that are actually just built energy of malice of people that fucked with us you know six foot ten up to seven feet tall wearing like body cage like they're a jeep to stand upright as they're crumbling 
that that would be what he's facing, you know. Yeah, that's ultimately. what I was saying. Like fake people who semi build their body while being horribly out of shape, just everything off and wrong and lumpy, as they you know have terrible energy to them, and he basically has to blacklight them to death with huge explosions of energy. Yeah. And before each scene, which is why it's so great, in order to build up the energy because he's dying, there's, you know, because I just keep making this joke. It's, it's an ongoing gag. Yeah. Stop acting like you need workout montages from a skinny man <laughs> who's had his f skull broken 15 times. Fuckers. Anyways, um, he pumps up before each time he has to face yeah. it. Yeah. So it's like he's lifting weights and everything, and then those, you know, energy starts building through him again, and he starts searing hot, and all his veins stain out all red. And then he's all smoldering when he shows up, and then burns hotter and hotter throughout the series of, like, fight moves that he does. Yeah. And he has sexy one-liners, so, you know, with the fact he can't say things right is perfect, because he just has cool one-liners. Makes sense, yeah. His entire heat up to be hot enough to even play the role so that they have good references of heat flow through his veins on a red camera, for example, that really picks that up. Uh, this is all sponsored by Fireweed or Fireweed Honey. He's going to have to consume so much of that to get his hormones back up to temperature because steroids aren't going to do it. You can't do that. you gotta, you got to use everything else like we already mentioned and then just uh, go at it at full force with the Fireweed Honey and uh, cool yourself off all the time. Yeah, I was thinking... Uh, we should have a scene where, um, he finally starts, you know, pulling through the electrical grid from the, like, lights, like, as though the lights flicker out and then they start pulling through them, um, like, black lines of energy to him, you know, at, towards, you know, one of the bigger battles, I suppose, because that would be cool, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Like, the Ghost Rider film was just a series of missions and then the movie's over. That's the sort of feeling we're going with here. So, when he gets to the last, you know... I think the last demon he fights should be some guy who, like, is, like, super dry and, like, smokes OG weed and supposedly has big muscles and is beautiful and stretchy, you know. But he's a horrible demon, right? And, uh, so he goes from all casual fake weed smoker 60s vibe to being incredibly scary instantly and switching, you know. And uh, so then what Howie defeats him is he pulls... The planet accepts that he's part of the system of its surviving, so then it pu he pulls the whole Aurora shifts from the North Pole to where he is, and then all the black lights pulled from space down into him, all pouring from the whole planet. That's pretty cool. Yeah.